15 low. Well, that's sort of 108 miles an hour, but very, very heavy. can be unsettling when that return comes back so quickly at you. Just catching Rafter slightly off guard. Dangerous moments for after. <laughs> Thirty or and that favorite serve up the middle from Pat Rafter works once again. Once again, merely 108 miles an hour. Well, 116, I guess. But right on the line. Let for service. Rafter leads six games to five, third set, and by two sets to love. Well, just when you think, Peter, that Rafter may be struggling on his serve at 15.30, he gets, what, another three first serves in and all right into the corners to, to pull himself out of trouble. Yes, Pat Rafter's serve has become so reliable in the last two years. He's always had a good serve, in fact, but, but his ability to produce his best serves in the tight moments has really become pronounced. And of course, that is the sign of a great champion if they are able to play their best when all the chips are down. Tied. One of the few players as well, isn't he? This year's championships, there's Tony Roach, the Davis Cup captain. And uh, Mark Waters, beside him, uh, physical trainer. And the normal Aussie headgear. Can't think there are too many flies out here, though, on court one. Toby Orkman for... the second time serve to stay in this match. Fifteen 
Let first service. Dirty love. Thirty fifty. Amazing to look at that, to see the rafter hasn't served a double fault yet, considering the threat that Bjorkman puts the serve under. been known Bjorkman to get a little bit tight in matches at times that second serve rolled in at 80 miles an hour serve really just put in Rafter with his first match point Aggressive tactic to get into net behind that top spin back end, knowing that the odds were against him were he to stay on the baseline. Rafter. That approach shot more of a prayer from Bjorkman than an attacking shot, leaving him match point down for the second time. After playing the safe return cross court to Bjorkman's back to hand, which of course is his strength, not wanting to hit to the Bjorkman forehand because it would open up his court, but still facing a difficult return. <laughs> a 
this would have gone past most people, but not Bjorkman. Advantage, Bjorkman. Rafter not liking the tension on that racket, going for another one. Let for service. Support for Bjorkman, not just from his fiance Petra there, from a lot of people in this crowd. Six games all, third set, tie break. They want more. <laughs> Rafter to start this third set tie break. Zero Rafter. Also, we're going through Rafter's mind is that it is getting a little bit dark, and if he loses this third set, he may have to come out tomorrow. 2 1 Bjorkman. <laughs> I'm sure that Bjorkman has probably thought about that possibility as well. Second service. to Bjorkman. Yes, Bjorkman at this stage in the match realizing that he must be the aggressor if he's to win this and beating Rafter to the punch 